Hey everyone, this little video is about how to take a screenshot in Windows 10 and 11. So the quickest way to do it is to actually just type screen right there and you will notice this comes up, snipping tool, that's what we want. If you're on Windows 10, you will usually get tool, two, snipping tool and snip and sketch. They're basically the same thing, different interface. So we're going to click that. Now, I know what some of you are saying. Hey, I know a secret way of doing it. Uh, I can press the Windows logo key and Shift S to start a snip. Well, that'll that'll start this up. That is true. And some of you are like, oh, no, you can hit the print screen key. I don't want a screenshot of the entire screen. If, for instance, I had an assignment that said, show that you know how to pull up snipping tool, and somebody sends an entire screenshot of this, when you dump that into a document to send to me, yeah, I'm going to see a window about that big. Now, in this particular sense, that would be too bad because it's just snipping tool. But if I needed to see other things on the screen, now all of a sudden, this is hard. <laughs> it's like, um, I can't see what you're showing me, right? It doesn't come out that way. When you convert it to a PDF, you lose definition in those pictures. And so when you start zooming in on a PDF, it doesn't work too well. So I want you to zoom in on what you need. So to show you that, let's say you need these two icons and that's all you need. So you hit new, draw a little square. Notice how the screen went dark. And now sometimes it won't pop up and show you on the screen, but there it is. It's ready to go. And this is actually quite a big picture. So it's not showing it very big here, but if you copy paste it, you can size it in Word or whatever word processor you're using, pretty big. And, and that makes it really easy to create assignments. You know, can see the steps that you're going through. All right, so the only other thing you really need to know is how do I take a screenshot, say, of this menu? Or what if I needed to show something else like this menu? In a standard screenshot, right, as soon as you go gray on that, I just right click that and wait, what happened? Yeah. It didn't work. Yeah, so what you want to do is come over to the clock and say, you know what, give me a three second delay on this next one. As soon as you hit this, this picture is gone. It's going to go away. So if you didn't copy it and put it in something or save it and put it in something, uh, then it's gone. All right, so then I go, okay, three seconds. That's what I wanted up. Now I can take a screenshot of the area I need and I'm set to go. And that's really all there is to it, to doing screenshots on Windows 10 and 11. You just look for that app, rewatch this video if you need to, and then realize that once you're in this tool, I mean, some, some students are really good at this. They'll say, hey, I need you to see, you know, I'll change that to orange. I need you to see this, right? They'll draw a circle around it, which is really nice. It's pretty cool. Um, but anyway, at this point, now you can copy and you can paste it straight into Word uh, so that you can create that PDF that you'll need to turn in. And that's it. Now, in some other classes, like PDF, what are you talking about? Some other classes, right, you just need to turn in the screenshot. You're taking a screenshot of your grades. And so you take a screenshot of those grades and you upload that. And that's all you have to do. Any case, uh, if you have questions, let me know. But I would recommend watching this again as you step through it on your own computer. Thanks for watching. And we will... Talk with you later.